Hello guys, Miles here. Today I'm going to be doing an updated tutorial on my Equalizer APO and Peace tutorial. You're going to need a couple programs to get started. I recommend using Voice Meter Banana over Potato and Normal Voice Meter. Only use Potato if you're dealing with multiple programs and you're doing audio engineering. You'll know how to configure this already if you don't. Then just stick with Banana. You're also going to need Equalizer APO and Peace Equalizer. Once you've installed all these programs, you can then restart Windows and come back here. Great, now that you've restarted, we're gonna go ahead and open up the configuration editor. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna let Peace Override accept it? Don't mess with any settings here, it's already configured. Now, once you have that, you're gonna need the uh, setup the Peace, setup and install. And once it is installed, and make sure that yes, this is installed, go to Help and Troubleshoot, hit Configurator, then click output A1. I have it on headphones just so I can sanity check, but make sure it's on output A1, and then hit continue, so you would click this, hit okay, but I already have it done. So you're gonna open up Peace, and you want the full interface, and then I'm also gonna open Voice Meter. The next step would be to go to Playback Devices, scroll all the way down, make sure Voice Meter input is set as your default, and make sure for recording that Voice Meter output is set as your default. Make sure that it is set as for communication and for default device, otherwise Discord might delete it. Now to get started, I'm going to show you my EQ and then I'll go over what happens inside a voice meter. So my EQ is a little bit different because I use Arctic Pro and I have kind of funny hearing. So I like a really shallow sound stage. So for some reason, bass gain is not actually bass gain and it controls how wide the sound stage is. It's really interesting. I really enjoy the way it's configured though because it makes it a kind of a tight sound stage and lets me hear left and right and what's in front of me, better positional audio for my games. And then I have stereo balance because my hearing is kind of offset. My EQ took about two years to configure and keep in mind while you can put 2.4 and save it, it'll put it back to 2.5. I don't know why it likes the point, you know, you know only go to that. It works, I don't complain. Once you're in here, you're gonna make sure that you hit voice meter output A1 and save. I have my preamp up a little bit because I like to be able to move my knob up and down a little bit, but that's just personal preference. You can preamp it whatever you like. Make sure you save it and that you under settings, have it starting with Windows minimized tray because you want this to run at system startup. Now, as far as voice meter goes, you're gonna want to go down to system options and you're gonna wanna set your uh, preferred main sample rate to 96 kilohertz here. This will ensure that it is running at the correct rate and it'll sound good regardless of what the Windows applied settings are because everything's now being handled by voice meter. Inside of voice meter, select your microphone, set it to B1, which is the microphone output. And then for virtual inputs, set these both to A1 you can channel a secondary thing through here. So for instance, if you want to play music or if you don't want your uh, stream to hear your chat, you can set that on your aux input. So if you go into here, this is this input. So you could go to your sound settings and you could manage over here and you can tell this one that you want it to go to aux instead and then your recording wouldn't pick that up because what happens is when you have an EQ, it's generated by your program, your game, your Chrome, your music program, and then it's sent through your audio uh, device, your audio cable, your virtual audio cable, into voice meter. It is then assigned, and then right before it's put to the, it's put out to the headphones, it's then EQ at the very last step of the stage, you know, stage of the, the process. It's, a, it's EQ'd at the last point and then it's sent out. The recording grabs it beforehand. So the recording grabs it here, right here. It doesn't grab it when it's sent to the headphones. That way your EQ stays separate from your recording and you can keep your chat and your music separate from your stream or your recording. So if you're listening to copyright music on you know, Twitch, your chat doesn't hear it, but you know they could listen along if they opened it up on Chrome or however you have it set up. It's just an example. And then you're gonna go here, run at system tray, and that's it. It should be fully configured and up 
and ready to go. If I've missed anything, I'll probably put it onto the Reddit post, but I don't think I've missed anything. No, I haven't. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you guys need help, contact me on the Reddit thread that I'll post a link to in the description box below, and have a great day.